Hello. I think I'm live, but there is a spinning circle, so I always feel that I should wait until I stop seeing the spinning circle. And I'll switch my camera light on instead. It says I'm live. Woohoo! Every single time I log in to do a live from my laptop, there's 15,000 new steps to follow. So it generally takes a lot more time to get set up to go live from a computer. So it's Wellness Wednesday, and I hope you're well. And these are all new problems that we face in the technology age, don't we? And I'm going to share a little bit more about that today with what I've been doing. I hope you're well where you are. We had a very, very windy storm here last night, and I've spent um, an unplanned 45 minutes today cleaning up my front lawn, which was a total war zone with plastic and leaves and branches and everything else. So I wasn't having to expect it to do that this morning. And then a tradesman is here, so I didn't want to go live while he was in and out of the house. And then someone else starts mowing the lawn across the road, so I didn't want to go to the lawn. <laughs> so there's always one reason after another that you shouldn't do a live on Facebook when you're trying to have a quiet working day at home and be productive. But nevertheless, so today I want to chat a little bit about benchmarking because um, for several reasons. Um, some of the projects that I'm working on at the moment, we've been doing a significant amount of benchmarking. And there's always a lot of information and data to look at and a lot of comparisons to be drawn and conclusions to come to and you look at systems processes clients turnovers all of these different moving parts of a business in order to benchmark uh, but as i was out cleaning my lawn this morning my neighbor has this absolutely pristine beautiful lawn and i have lawn envy um, and compared to mine, compared to hers, it's humongously embarrassing, humiliating the state of my lawn compared to the state of her lawn. But thinking along this theme of benchmarking, I was suggesting to myself, Chrissy, don't benchmark yourself against that lady's lawn because um, she wasn't working until midnight last night, potentially. She wasn't up looking after two small kids in the middle of the night who couldn't sleep because of the wind and who were scared and who had stuffy noses and who needed to go to the toilet and blah, 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 blah. So I decided to not benchmark myself against my neighbor's lawn and just to be grateful for the fact that I have a house, have two kids who are predominantly lovely 99.9% .9 of the time and um, I could spend a bit of time in the sunshine tidying up my garden this morning even though it was an unplanned activity and to be grateful for the fact that I can pay my mortgage at the moment. So. I just really wanted to think about not benchmarking my lawn against my neighbours because I think the um, the other term for benchmarking is keeping up with the Joneses and in so many aspects of life we compare ourselves to where other people are at and what they've got and versus what we've got and so on and so forth but our situation is always unique to us and often sometimes people who appear to be very successful um, in some areas of their life are may not so successful in other areas of their life. So we can't always benchmark against every criteria. We can't compare apples for apples or oranges to oranges. So I'll talk about that in a minute. So do find um, your point of um, gratitude, your point of um, meeting your own expectations and your point of self satisfaction because otherwise you will always feel unhappy and disappointed especially when your neighbor has a pristine lawn and yours is rubbish so <laughs> that was my um funny insight this morning and yesterday i was chatting with a lady who's recently started a business and she has a three-year-old as well and the three-year-old has been uh, sick for the last few weeks and we talked a lot about uh, what she's been doing and so on and so forth and then we got to the end of the conversation and I said oh how's your little one and she told me how the little one has been sick for the best part of seven weeks and I said so you've been starting a business you've been doing all this on your own and your toddler has been sick for the best part of seven weeks I said that puts everything into perspective so you can't now be benchmarking yourself against other people or other businesses in the marketplace because you're at home dealing with that stuff as well on top of trying to create a business from scratch. So it comes down to kind of some perspective and some um, managing expectations. And all the time, I think if you're a driven person, you want to be achieving and to be succeeding and to be you know, meeting milestones and to be um, uh, exploring all of the possibilities. But often you're kind of hamstrung by your circumstances. And when you're 
a working mum you have many circumstances outside of your control so and that was kind of true for me last night because I had a zoom call with someone in Brazil at 8 p.m. and then I had a zoom call with someone in the Isle of Man starting at 9 30 p.m. and um, in between the eight o'clock call my husband put the kids to bed and I went down and checked on them before the next call and they were sound asleep and I thought this is great I'll get the next call done I'll get to bed I'll have a good night's sleep because I have a really long day today and um, halfway through the second call so which started at 9 30 the little one comes up crying then not long behind the big one comes up crying so I'm on zoom <laughs> I've got two crying kids behind me it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm like hmm okay excuse me <laughs> so I had to go and sort them out which took a while and then the call finished and they were still unsettled so it took me another 45 minutes to get them settled so instead of finishing the call jumping into bed and ideally falling asleep I had to spend the rest of the night it was maybe half past midnight by the time I got to sleep um, but it's that typical zoom experience where you're trying to be professional and um, and you know someone comes up beside you with bunny ears on and um, and starts you know pulling at you and and um, distracting you but we got through it okay we survived it it is what it is I can I don't feel that I need to make any excuses to people on Zoom calls these days. The fact that I'm in my pajamas, the fact that my children are in their pajamas, and the fact that this call is now being interrupted so someone can go to the toilet, or someone can get a snuffly nose sorted out, or someone can get something else. That's just the world in which we live in. So it also reminds myself in that instance to not to benchmark myself against my male colleague who's sitting in his um, home office or my female colleague who doesn't have children who's sitting in her home office you know I just have to do the best that I can I don't need to um, apologize or benchmark myself in that way so it's really interesting so I just wanted to say today to be mindful of who and what you are benchmarking in your life on a personal professional level because in often ways they're interlinked um, but at the any given day you can only just do your best and achieve the most that you can given the circumstances that you have so that was something I wanted to share today so <clears throat> I just showed you my little orange so these are fridge magnets and you can stick it to your fridge and this is my wellness mindset weekly question so what is a wellness mindset on a weekly basis you can ask yourself these questions who what can I do to look after myself this week when can I schedule exercise into my week? What will I fuel my body with this week? When will I make time to relax and unwind? What can I do just for fun this week? What time will I go to bed this week? Do I have any pressures and deadlines this week that need to be managed? Do I need any extra help this week? Am I organized to ensure that I can prioritize wellness as part of my week? How am I feeling and what does my body need today? So if you would like a copy of my fridge magnet to stick on your fridge to help you with your wellness mindset and your questions, um, drop me a message and I will send one to you. I've got some stock arriving of those today. So that's cool. I love my uh, fridge magnets and I also updated my poster. It was time to put my other books on my poster, so I'm quite pleased about that. So this weekend I'm taking it a bit easy because it's my birthday, ooh, 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 46, I can't be embarrassed about being 46. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of time with friends and chilling out with my kids and stuff. And then next weekend I'm heading down to Ellie Beach, it's a long weekend here in Queensland and I'll be doing markets there with my books on Saturday in Ellie Beach as well as scouting out a new location for our fourth wellness retreat in 2022. So in 2022 I'm having two wellness retreats. The first one will be in Ellie Beach from the 18th to 20th of March. The second one will be in Mission Beach from the 21 to the 21st, uh, 21st to 23rd of October 2022. So um, I will be finding a cool location to have our women's wellness retreat in Ellie Beach this weekend coming next weekend and then I'll put the dates and um, places up on my um, Facebook pages so then you can go and check it out so um, those are the main things so yeah that really came about as a result of going and buying my 2022 diary and starting to do some planning for next year 
And I thought, right, this year is fast running away from us and I need to kind of crack on with um, scheduling some stuff in for um, the coming year. So it's school holidays and as my um, unmarried, childless colleague in Brazil said to me last night, every parent's nightmare <laughs> when the kids are on school holidays but parents are not, but you still have to manage your work around not use up all your leave, not spend a fortune in vacation care, and it's always a juggle and a balance, isn't it? So um, we're doing our best to juggle and balance our way through another school holiday. So I hope you are too, wherever you are. If you're in lockdown, I'm sorry, sending you my good wishes and um, support. And if you're out enjoying yourself, I am also happy for you. But don't benchmark yourself, remember. So um, do take care and I hope to see you again real soon. Okay, bye.